What's up guys, Express here, back with another video. Now, everyone has seen Spider-Man nowadays, and have you seen the Spider-Man poster? I could do my own spin. I know I'm not the best in manipulation, but I'm trying to get in it, and trying to do more basic stuff. So, this is really basic, it's a character in the middle, it's a bit of lightning, it's a bit of ground, it's a bit of tentacles. I can do it, I can do this myself. So, this is my progress of trying to recreate the Spider-Man poster. I've done this uh, in the past, I've made some posters before, some basic ones, and I'm trying to get back into it in the, new, in the new year, trying to develop my skills in some manipulation. So yeah, you'll probably see more videos like this in the future, but I hope you enjoy this basic Spider-Man poster design that I've made. I hope you enjoy. So the first thing you, that you want to always do is search on pictures. I went to DeviantArt, just Google for the right Spider-Man picture, and of course Doctor Strange as well. Uh, but then in the end I didn't use Doctor Strange. But anyways, Doctor Octavius as well for his tentacles and of course the Green Goblin that I didn't use in the end as well. As well, I have to, have to remove the arms, the Iron Spider suit uh, because he didn't have that on the original one as well. Once I've done that, I want to of course Spider-Man on top of something so of course I want to have the best rocks that I can search for in the end I found a nice picture on Paxels and um, of course if you want to use Paxels that's a free um, royalty free picture site I can use of course a lot of pictures and that's where I got these rocks from and of course I have to blend in spider-man with the rocks which I just used a simple brush to add some shadows um, and of course make it darker with a bit of levels and vibrance and of course behind him as well I put some light because in the original one there came a lot of light from behind him and of course Spider-Man itself needs to be darker to make it more realistic with the foreground as well so yeah the, the shadows are just painted in with a normal brush um, I think that's a nice simple way to do it to start with I guess it looks it looks all right some parts I think I should have adjusted a bit more and then of course some highlights on top of spider-man that came from the back and from the left some basic highlights with some uh, curves and everything you know you know how the drill is and then of course more light from the back with a simple brush uh, I think which I think came out really nice um, and then of course the same light from the back needs to be on top of spider-man as well which I've done with just a clipping mask on top of spider-man and a clipping mask on the rocks as well and then of course some blue as well from the sky and then some more shadows on top of spider-man to make it more realistic and the uh, arms of Dr. Octavius. I've I just searched uh, Dr. Octavius arms and they, they look pretty nice. I don't like the positioning afterwards as well. Uh, this make them the same color as my whole overall poster so I have to make them a bit darker and a bit more uh, orangey and some more dark shadows it's just some simple clipping mask on top of the arms and of course a simple uh, black brush Th that's how I did it I don't know if you guys know any other cool tricks that you can do that for as well and of course with the clipping mask as well uh, some orange highlights as well And then of course in the back some sandstorm of Sandman of course. I think it was pretty nice. I just searched up some sand PNGs on Google and I found these images. Uh, you can also find them pretty easy in my opinion. Then of course some um, lens flares and some flares, some um, flame flares as well for like the explosion in the back. I don't know, it looked cool. The original one did it as well. I thought it looked pretty pretty cool, you know. Just some uh, of Google as well on a different layer style on screen of course. So they look a bit better. Uh, also blurred out the arms a bit, um, just you know, foreground depth and everything.
lightning as well on the screen press ctrl u to change the color a bit to make, make it a bit more um, yellowish um, i thought it came out pretty nice i pressed colorize so the color is just one color and of course we need the spider-man logo no way home uh, just plop that in there find that on google it's very easy to find as find as well bottom text white as well but that's just simple color overlay then of course it's time for the camera raw filter um, that's just me messing around you know popping out the temperature a bit popping out the whites to make it look more like the original one so after the camera raw filter stuff some so i've just popped up the exposure the contrast and everything uh the process has just been a bit cut off but i don't think you guys want to see that but anyways i just tried to make it look similar like the original one but then i thought it's not the original one it's my spin of it so i made a different version as well so i have these two versions of the spider-man poster that i made uh, let me know what you guys think of it as well i'll put them side by side and also the or original one as well uh i think it looks pretty pretty fine it's not the my, it's not the best but i mean i'm not that good at manipulation as well trying to get it into it so uh i hope you guys support me with this uh, journey that i'm going to do with you guys together of course i'm going to make new more videos and manipulation and of course try to do uh, one manipulation video a month i can't promise anything i just I'll, I'll, I'll try to but if you have any ideas that i can do for manipulation let me know in the comments down below and i'll see you guys in the next one peace